Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me. We are back with another episode of Disc Creatures, a fun retro inspired monster training game reminiscent of the Game Boy Color. In the last episode, we got beat badly by the spooky guy in the spooky uh, cabin, the spooky cabin in the woods. Uh, so we have to level up a little bit here. We are level sevens. We probably should try to get up to level nines before we fight him again. He was a level eight and decidedly a tough level eight, unfortunately. Uh, so we're gonna have to go through here and see what we can do about killing a few of these or knocking out a few of these creatures so that we can uh, get our levels up and able to defeat him hopefully at some point in a decent time but uh, yeah it's a uh, it's a fun game I do recommend it uh, although I never owned a Game Boy Color oddly enough I owned the original Game Boy and the original DS and those two were the I would say the only uh, well yeah, the probably the only hand up. No, for a short time I did have a um, Sega. Shoot, I forget what it was called. It was a. It wasn't the Game Gear, but it was the Sega um, handheld device that allowed you to play Sega games on a handheld, which was actually a really neat kind of um, device that I didn't even know existed for a long time. But um, those are the three handhelds I had. I've just never really been uh, big into handheld uh, playing. Uh, usually didn't need to be out and that sort of stuff and playing um, never was a big uh, thing in my life. Uh, but um, originally I had an NES actually the first console I had was a Atari and I have been playing in gaming uh, pretty much <laughs> uh, non-stop ever since and uh, and that's kind of why we come back almost full circle here uh, we now are exploring games and I'm kind of going off the game here a lot of times uh, I talk about the game and what I'm planning to do and how I'm doing it but considering I am just grinding at the moment um, it would probably be better instead of telling you all the little ins and outs of what I'm doing which is fairly obvious um, you know we could talk a little bit about some experience I have some uh, the, the, the you know the, the reason why I'm doing uh, I'm what I'm doing and the you know the angle that I want for the channel and um, so because of that long history um, of computing or gaming the um, the older games definitely have a nostalgic um, feel for you know there's a nostalgic value for those games and while that is not necessarily the only reason that these games are good because there are a lot of games out there that are retro inspired that are definitely worth your time even without the nostalgia value to them they are uh in essence fun games in and of themselves um and uh you know that's kind of what we're doing here we're taking these games that have been made now and looking at them and comparing you know what they can do now the extra features that have been added um, that uh, were not present in those early games now I can go all out on uh, you know many 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 AAA games and show all of the advanced features that have came along in the uh, time uh, in the you know 40 plus years of uh, gaming and of um, you know game development uh, but there is something simplistic in these games and I really enjoy 
uh, games that have figured out how to do um, something with less. And, you know, retro games are fine, and I have no problem with retro games in and of themselves, but there is a lot of fundamental problems with retro games even if you go up as far as the playstation or the playstation 2 uh era um i'd probably be uh playstation was 64 era so like the gamecube um there was issues with the uh, things that they could do the size of the game that they could uh perform and that sort of stuff uh, you know, you look at games now, and I just had a game update uh, come on in a game that was a gig big, and uh, um, you know, to deal with that um, is well, while not a big deal in today's age, um, definitely has uh, issues with it. Um, you know, no one, not everybody has the best internet. Um, you know, you also have to deal with, um, you know, the, uh, the time it takes to download the updates like that and, you know, just, you know, uh, worrying, I guess, about that sort of stuff. Oh, my flame orb has leveled up. Woohoo! We are now level eight. Um, but then if you go back into the retro games, you got all the issues of, the retro games and not only the issues there of the constrictions that certain consoles had on the retro games but also you have the issue of getting them um if you want to play retro games not only um you know there are a lot that are being re-released on you know the switch or you have a lot of the minis that are being produced um, you have, um, stuff being released on Steam, all of which are good, but again, they go back to those, uh, fundamental issues that you have with the games. You can't have so many sprites on the screen, or you can only do so many callers, and that sort of thing are the issues that, uh, typical retro games have, and when you get into these, you still have the fun the simplicity of retro games but without a lot of the limitations and that's one of the reason that draws me to these games so much is they're simple they're easy um you know you don't have to memorize or know a lot of different moves i remember playing <laughs> i've always been a button masher and probably what uh, started that is uh street fighter i remember playing early street fighter street fighter 2 and not being able to get the move set down and uh, beginning my button mashing career and a lot of these games do more with less and that is what's good they're not constricted per se of certain console um, issues or knowledge about how to do something but they are simple in that they have um, an ease to them that makes it easy to pick up easy to play and easy to enjoy and that's really kind of the thing there uh, for me yes there is a lot of nostalgia value for me personally but um like as i said it does not have to have that there there is still fun to be had in these games um without worrying about you know uh, you know the nostalgia in there that's where the big bad guy is and i really don't know if it's going to be beneficial to us to go back. I'm not sure how long it will take us to level up going through. Well, I can't even get through the trees there. Um, I would like to drop maybe back here. 
because in this section up here is where we got better fights um fights that were closer to our Ooh, that's a new creature i have not seen before uh so that's interesting i wonder if i will be able to uh get his disc and maybe be able to use it it looks like a flame creature i don't know if any of mine are weak to flame so i've got to kind of be careful there um he definitely attacked the one that was not my flame orb i know being a fire creature uh himself is definitely uh not going to be weak to that kind of attack Sindru, uh did i i did not unfortunately get any disc off that that's uh sad i am so sad now um oh these onions there's i know there's going to be onions in this one this is the on onion fit field um i'm just hoping that um it doesn't take too long to level these guys up into uh level nines because i think level nines is where i'm going to need to be to uh be able to defeat this um the big boy at least have a good chance of defeating the evil guy um he was he was decidedly a lot harder than i thought he would be um so i've kind of got to watch that um he was very interesting in how he did it and i'm curious how i'm gonna have to be able to win this uh hopefully without energizing i'll probably have to watch where i energize and when I energize, because I think that's going to be a fundamental issue, um, is that I could, I would energize at a particular, uh, time in which, um, I wouldn't, uh, what's the word? Um, it wouldn't be, this, um, bad for me to do so. If I energize and get hit, the damage does extra damage um so we want to avoid energizing or e-charging uh when the uh person is going to do a heavy attack against us and that's something we definitely want to try to avoid that that <laughs> this is actually battles taking a little bit of time here come on oh we're out of energy well that's not good let's go ahead and e-charge that's the weird thing about this game is they only give you uh 10 um energies to start with um and i wish somehow there was a way to do a full like start off with full energy but uh there doesn't unfortunately seems to be a way to do that uh, see, we got to recharge here again. Getting uh, too much in the uh, flow of things there. <laughs> there we go. But most times, you only need to energize once. And that's probably what we're going to have to look at is when are we going to energize and when are we going to um, attack and be... Um, I slide through these guys without getting nope i cannot slide through these guys without getting uh, attacked i'm trying to make it back to uh base um the only bad thing about it i'm trying to make it back to the city so that we can um heal back up is kind of what i'm trying to do here and i don't know if we could why well, i don't think we'll um not make it i guess but i'm a little worried that i might have to fight a couple of these there we go we made it back not too bad there is something i probably could try how much uh, money do i have i have two pico that's not gonna buy me <laughs> anything unfortunately um i mean this is part of the game running back and oh yeah this is where i heal and over there is where i buy stuff um you have to go back and heal up every once in a while um i would really like to be a full health or as full health as i can when it comes to fighting the guy um so i'm not sure i don't think we'll be able to make it through the whole way with um 
I, uh, with, um, without hitting one of these guys, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty certain we're going to get into battle somewhere. Um, we are on, we are still level eight. I think it'll tell me how close I am to, yeah, I got 334 experience to the next level. And I think Cinepion is 319. What is he? 217. So he's my Battelle's my longest one to get. Um, if I can get another good battle or so in, maybe we can get up there, but I don't expect to get that up real easily here. I would like to fight him again in this episode and see if I can battle him. So let's see if we can go through here fairly quickly and get some hits on there. And what we might have to do is find out something that um, is going to allow us to t uh, give him a little bit more damage there. Let's see if we could sneak through here without getting any of these guys on us. Ew, we just barely missed that one. Um, I think we'll take on this one of these out here and then see if we can fight. That's another one, that middle guy. We've seen him before, but we've never a, um, a gat, gat or um, uh, a disc from him. Unfortunately, they seem to be uh, pretty tough. Although I got lucky there and was able to get some uh, energy there. Let's see if we can knock these guys out pretty quickly. We're going to go on full stream here and see what we can do about uh, hitting these guys. And that guy E-charged right off the bat and I chose the wrong guy to attack. That's a little frustrating. Uh, oh no, that will work. That, that still got him. He's strong against Earth. Um, hopefully I can use my... He's strong against Earth, so let's go ahead and DV hat against him. Wonder Ring against him, and then Bloodsuck. Yeah, I'm not sure which one is going to be. If he's Earth type, I don't think I could Bloodsuck off him very much. It's a, oh, it's a devastating blow. Well, that worked out nice for us, didn't it? <laughs> that was quite nice, and he's all full. So uh, we may not get a lot we got 82 experience that wasn't too bad um and we'll be able to well, let's check out our moves because we do have we were able to get some other moves and i wonder if some of these hits all enemies is not going to be helpful to me because and it is da damage e which I, as far as i can understand so far is the worst damage it does the least amount of damage and then I got damage D, which does a little bit more. Um, so I know a couple of my guys. I just want to check all the moves really quickly and see. Always hits. Sure file. I don't. Damage D. That's interesting. It always hits. It costs six. That's a very interesting attack and I'm curious about it. Let's take off defend and let's go ahead and see what Surefire can do. Um, it is damage D, it's one less E cost, so that might help us out uh, in the long run. And it does look, look like he got Kha'Zix Toxic. I wonder if that poisons somebody so that they take damage over time. Um, if it does, that's going to be very useful to me. Um, if I could throw that on him in the first round and get that poison to affect him over time, it might help me as I uh, try to fight this guy. So let's go in here and see if we can yes we do want to go in let's see if we can take care of him this time we already went through this so uh we know what's going on here let's see if we can fight this guy he is going to pull up 
all his little friends. You think it's one little box here, but they kind of merge together to make a nasty little, um, I don't know, it's, it's quad box thing. I don't know. Ah, uh, come on. We've already already heard this uh, the speech before. There we go. So those four boxes kind of come together and form the um, enemy. And you know what? I really hope I don't die again here. Um, Puzz appeared. Okay, he is level eight. Um, we are going to just go off. You know, Borrow allows me to go underground which probably means he's not going to get hit. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm gonna try this Surefire and see what it does. And then we are going to try Chirp Poison Ball and see what it does. Hopefully, hit with Toxic. I'm hoping that the Toxic does damage over time is really what I'm he hoping for. But unfortunately, um, rock blast wow that's not going to be good is it i have a very bad very very bad feeling about that now i've put myself in a bit of a pickle here uh because he only has four energy so i guess that um what can we do here fireball does they both do, do and they both yeah so let's do Guess that and then try the way ways of wind the razor wind, but the razor wind is uh, He's confused. So he actually might hit one of my uh, Enemies oh Okay, good good. I don't think we did uh, sheesh That toxic yes, he took damage from that toxic again. That's good. That's really really good um, We're gonna e-charge him we're gonna e-charge him and you know what? I'm gonna have to e-charge. Oh no, I could do Bloodsucker one. So let's go ahead and do Bloodsucker there and hopefully we'll get a pull out a little bit of that. <laughs> I'm really hoping that the um, toxic damage is gonna take him out. That's, yeah, sweet, which is great because I already e-charged two of my guys. Um. Uh, so let's burrow and let's wonder ring. That's I think my most and it also inflicts power lock, which I think makes it so that they can't use um, Special attacks next turn. So let's try that um, I think he's going to have to e-charge this turn Let's see what we can do. He's e-charging and that's gonna allow us to do double or you know, extra damage basically this turn because he's e-charging. Um, and we, looks like we've got him. I might use, oh no, I don't think I will. Um, let's go ahead and burrow again. Uh, Wonder Ring again, I have the charge. And you know, on this one, I don't want him to lose it. It may be a waste. You know what? You know what? I think we're going to go for it. What I'm actually going to do is do Razor Wind because, it, you know, can I go back? Can I go? Oh, yes, I can. So let's burrow. Let's use dash attack because it attacks first. And then we're going to use Razor Wind, which also attacks first. So those two should be the two first to attack. And that should put him out. Yes, I won the battle and 204 experience. Sweet, that worked out very well for us. Um, and Flame Orb leveled up. Sweet, okay, so let's see what's gonna happen after this. That's uh, some kind of boss there. Wait, wait, did you actually win? That, that can't be true, that's impossible. No, you don't, didn't stand a chance. I wanted nothing more to be than to be a stronger creature, but we are Bridgie are weak, so I figured I'd never get strong no matter how hard I tried. Could you tell me your name? Sure. Well, Stingray, I'd admit I'm a weak creature, but seeing you in battle just now taught me what true strength is. 
so I've decided to travel the world and get strong like you. When I do, please allow me to test my strength against you and your creature stingray. Well, that's going to be foreshadowing. <laughs> I'm going to end up with fighting him later on. Good work, stingray. Some creatures just zoom out of here like a rocket. What's up? Eh, whatever. Anyway, I bet you were surprised by that dangerous creature hiding in here. Actually, I was quite, uh, quite a bit surprised. But hopefully this was a good lesson. Some creatures do hold incredible power. But with a team that you can rely on and at the correct level, no creature can stand in your way. Now then, Stingray, let's head home. Sweet. We, we just defeated the little bad evil guy. <laughs> <laughs> episode one in that's cool i really do like this game it's a lot of fun um i like the mo I, you know something that i and here's again where the um nostalgia really doesn't affect me because as a child i've never played monster training games i never played um i never played pokemon um the card game or the video game um, I don't know other ones. Uh, I think UGO uh, was a game, a monster training game. I don't know if that was just in cards or not, but I've never really played monster training games before uh, getting into this retro uh, inspired kick. And I've already picked up two that I really, really enjoy. So there's there's games in here that are definitely not just for nostalgia purposes. Caw, caw. That's the little guy that was in my house at the begin with. So I am all the way back home. Well, did not quite did not quite expect that. Um not sure what I need. Did I get a bunch of money? Guys and girls, girls and guys, gather around and feast your eyes. Mr. Discar is back in Lycium Town. Now is your chance to get the sorts of disc you've only ever dreamed of. Step on up, pray to the random number gods, and maybe today will be your lucky day. Come on, find me by this disc cafe, and don't forget to have your wallets ready. I love doing announcer voices, they're so much fun. Um, but yes, <laughs> I guess... I don't think we don't have any money, so we only have two Pico. Uh, but I'm curious. Oh, I did not want to go in the shop. Uh, I want to check him out. Welcome. Well, now your no face, Mr. Discard, remembers? I'm Mr. Discard, the Disc Mixer. Mr. Dixar, and I've got a mystery disc machine set up here today. Now you may ask me, Mr. Discard, my good sir, what is the mystery disc machine of yours? Well,. It's a machine seed that can store you one score you one of a variety of creature discs. Which ones? That's the mystery. There's no telling what will pop out until it does, but you might just find a creature you've never seen before. Now normally I charge a flat ray of 20 pico, but for you, for my little friend, your first try is free. What do you say? Wanna give it a go? Sure, I'm all for free. Wonderful. Just step right up here to this machine. Say a little prayer. Make a wish. Cross your fingers and give it a pull. Let's see what we get. Ooh, what? Ooh. We got a rare disc. We got a disc for a one, number 147 of back Bracotron. Ooh, we cool. Um, how about that? Me and my trusty machine here will be back again sometime, so don't be shy. Ta da! Now, may luck smile on you. Here we go. Incoming transceiver call. Hey, you Stingray, so did I take, did, did you get a good disc? Next, you should go check out the bulletin board to the east again. More people might be in need of help. No time to dilly-dally. Okay, to the, the billboard to the east. I was thinking there was a billboard up here somewhere, but uh, is this the billboard? 
It said to the east, a place where how many creatures those headed for town hall should continue eastward. Okay, so maybe it's over by the town hall. We'll check out the billboard really quickly and then we will, uh, I think, call it uh, quits for the episode for the day. There's a disc R wanted ad posted here. Please help my big brother. We just want to play in Pecan Forest together and cross this bridge there so we could explore the junglin woods. We always do, me and my brother together. But this time some scary creature that lives out there put a curse on my big brother. Now he can't talk anymore. I didn't see anything, but I think he found something real bad out there. And that's how he all got all cursed. Please help him. Find that creature who did this to him and give me my real big brother back. I miss him. Oh, that's so sad. Curse of the Lost. Well, that's going to be probably it. I, well, let's, you know, I want to check out. Oh, uh, we have to get to a computer to do that. We can do that in the next episode. Uh, we'll check out the dinosaur and go find the lost uh, big brother. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. There will be a link down in the description for the uh, game if you want to pick it up on Steam. I really appreciate every each and every view, everybody that comes in. And if you would like to give me a subscribe and a little thumbs up down there below the video, those two do help way more than you realize. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, bye everybody.